Alright guys, in today's video we have more PlayStation news and rumors to go over and discuss. Before we dive into today's topics though, do me a favor, please hit the like button to help this video out and show it your support. And if you are new here to the channel, hit that subscribe button as well. We are starting with something that is not that significant, but still something that many PlayStation fans as well as Metal Gear Solid fans couldn't help but find very interesting, especially considering the timing of it. We have the head of PlayStation's Worldwide Studios, Herman Holst, tweeting out a very interesting image, and he says, A friend gave me this incredible woodblock print yesterday. Modern costumes traded for the medieval ones, but I think the essence of the characters in yukio e style remains Samurai Snake. And it's a picture of Solid Snake in a samurai outfit. Now, obviously, as he says, this was given to him uh, as a gift and we shouldn't read into it too much but it's just one of these things where you know you have the head of PlayStation Studios tweeting out this image that features Solid Snake. Metal Gear Solid is an IP that is dormant right now and there have been a myriad of rumors claiming that Sony specifically with Bluepoint Games is planning to do something with the Metal Gear Solid IP. So again, the timing of it is why people are paying very close atten attention to this and maybe coming up with some ideas. But my recommendation is I wouldn't look into this too much. I would just take it at face value for what it is. It's definitely interesting though. It does tell me that Herman Holst apparently is a fan of Solid Snake and Metal Gear Solid, which I don't think I was aware of previously. So Definitely very cool here. Um, it's worth noting Herman doesn't tweet out all that much, and he certainly doesn't tweet out too much about personal stuff like this. So, yeah, you can make of it what you will. I wouldn't even count this as like a rumor or anything, but just something interesting that happened. But the next thing we're talking about is a rumor, and it's coming from a source that I honestly don't know what their track record is. Many of you know who this individual is. He is known as ACG. He has a big game review channel. He's a very well-respected game reviewer, and he just certainly doesn't seem like the type of individual that would come out and say something like this if he wasn't pretty sure of it or, you know, wasn't willing to, uh, you know, kind of stick his neck out here a little bit. And so he tweets out yesterday, looks like another purchase is heading into getting announced within one month. That is pretty big. I suppose at this time, we just need to assume four gaming companies own everything. And he follows that up by saying, oh, whoops, we'll confirm next week. This is more about consolidation and how much is going on versus rumor stuff. Sorry. So this follow-up tweet here, it it's not really made very clear. Like, is he kind of like retracting his first tweet and what he said, or is he trying to clarify something? It, it's a little bit... It's worded in a, in a way that's a little bit confusing, but if ACG is to be believed here, which I do believe him, apparently there is a major acquisition that is set to be announced with in the next month, uh, possibly something even happening next week based off of, again, his follow-up tweet here. And this just kind of got everybody thinking, well, who could it be? And naturally, the first major player that people think of is Microsoft because of their recent purchase of Bethesda and how Microsoft has made it very clear that they are not done acquiring publishers and studios. And it's interesting because he, he claims this is going to be pretty big. Now, obviously, what ACG considers very big versus what somebody else may consider very big, it's subjective and he doesn't give any hints as to what this could be. Um, like, is it a publisher? Is it just a, a well-known studio? You know, is it a well-known independent studio? He doesn't really make it clear, but it is something that we should maybe pay a little bit of attention to because this could pertain to Sony, right? It could be Sony is getting ready to make some kind of major acquisition. I I wouldn't be totally shocked if that was the case, um, but I also wouldn't be surprised if this has nothing to do with Sony. I say this because Sony started out the conversation saying we're all about organic growth and that's kind of just what we're going to do and partnerships and that's great and obviously that's still very important to them but then recently they're like actually we're going to acquire Housemark and we're going to acquire Nixus and we may even end up acquiring Bluepoint Games. Now granted uh, those two studios Bluepoint Games and Housemark they're studios that make a lot of sense but with that being said, there are many other studios as well as publishers 
that Sony is very closely associated with that could, you know, fit within this rumor if it's to be believed. But again, we can't uh, ignore the fact that Microsoft, you now they're looking to spend more money. They're looking to continue to grow their studios. Might not be either Sony or Microsoft. It could be maybe Tencent or Embracer Group. We really don't know, but I thought that this was worth mentioning. I'm sure people are going to be kind of waiting to hear, you know, what this is, who was involved. Definitely something we're going to want to, uh, you know, pay attention to if it does in fact happen. But moving on to the next topic, I want to let you guys know that we will apparently be getting some exciting news regarding the upcoming PlayStation console exclusive Sifu uh, during Gamescom opening night live. This is a game I'm very much looking forward to. A lot of you seem to be looking forward to it as well. Uh, the last news we got regarding Sifu was that unfortunately it was being delayed into uh, early 2022, but apparently they do have some more news they want to share with us soon. So reading from Gaming Bolt says Gamescom opening night live is promising to be a pretty packed show with various announcements and updates on upcoming games. In the lead up to the event, we've been receiving bits and pieces of information on what we can expect to see and another game's presence has been confirmed. Slowcap recently took to Twitter to confirm that their upcoming Kung Fu action title Sifu will be present at Gamescom opening night live. The developer says there are still a few things to be shown before summer is over and that the game will be receiving some exciting news at the show. Various others ha games have also been confirmed for Gamescom opening night live, which takes place on August 25th in the last few days, including the likes of the new Saints Row, Call of Duty Vanguard, Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, and more, I think, Far Cry 6 was also recently announced. So there you go. Um, you know, I'm definitely looking forward to this. I'm going to be tuning into Gamescom, uh, and it's honestly great to know that Sifu is going to be there because I know that not everybody is into this game, but based off of what I've seen of Sifu so far, I think the game looks incredible. I cannot wait to play it, and so I'm very much excited to get any new information on this title. Uh, but the next topic we're talking about has to do with an interesting Sony patent that was discovered that pertains to the PlayStation Store and some significant changes that Sony may be looking to make when it comes to the PlayStation Store. So this is reading from Push Square, and it says, like it or loathe it, the way we play games is changing. Life cycles are longer than ever before with seasonal updates, keeping things fresh years after launch. It's something that Sony's paying close attention to, and it may influence the direction it takes the PlayStation Store. A new patent spotted by Reddit introduces the concept of dynamic, personalized product pages, which can change and evolve alongside the game. The abstract issued in May of this year outlines techniques for providing information and functionalities based on a video game life cycle and user context. It goes on to demonstrate some examples showing a hypothetical racing game and its latest content. The information is contextualized with additional data, such as which friends you have playing the title. It's easy to see how this could be applied to real examples. The Fortnite product page, for instance, could be themed around its latest battle pass and skins. PlayStation pulls an enormous chunk of its revenue through microtransactions and in-game purchases these days, so it's in the organization's best interest to keep users uh, updated of any updates or expansions. We also reckon with the way games are designed now, it just makes sense to make the PlayStation Store pages a bit more dynamic and relevant to what's happening within a release at any given time. So yeah, I wanted to be sure to cover this and let you guys know that this definitely seems like a patent that Sony's actually going to go through with. It doesn't seem like there's any real reason why they wouldn't implement something like this into the PlayStation Store. And so, you know, we've already kind of seen this to an extent with the PlayStation 5 where there's like a news section and a news tab for games that you want to follow where they, you know, will keep you updated. But specifically for the PlayStation Store, we're now looking at something where they're seemingly going to implement a system that just keeps you up to date with a game as it's evolving. And so that page will continuously update and showcase the latest things. And I, I do think it's a good idea. Obviously, this seems something like something that is just more uh, for, you know, service games, games that are always getting updates, but it might not just be for that, right? There's a lot of single player games that get uh, different types of updates, free content and all that types of stuff. So yeah, you guys can let me know if this is something that you would like to see implemented into the PlayStation Store and if it's something that you think uh, would benefit you having a more personalized, contextualized PlayStation Store that's kind of, you know, updating 
at all times for pretty much all games. Let me know if that's something that you would like. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Be sure to, again, leave it a like if you did. Leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit the bell notification icon and feel free to share this video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys, take care.